My name is Kwame. I'm a developer investor here at Algorand. And today I'm going to show you um, just the workflow of using Construct3 and the Algorand SDK. And we're going to also uh, create an um, account, a uh, funded account, um, check it out on Algo Explorer, and a few other things. <clears throat> there are a couple, um, there are a few things that you'll need to have uh, set up beforehand. And there's a couple of great tutorials on the developer website. Uh, one is introducing Sandbox 2.0 by Will. So thank you. Uh, to Will at Algorand for doing that. And the next one you're going to need is um, create an account on testnet using JavaScript. And this is done by Russ at Algorand. So thank you to Russ. Also, um, and of course, you're going to, we're going to be using Construct. If you don't already have it, you're going to need to get it. And I'm using the pro version, um, just so you know. Okay. Um, so with that, we can open up uh, Construct. And we're going to actually, uh, I have a project that's created. Um, so all you're going to need to do is just basically drag and drop this into your uh, construct in, um, interface. So I have here, I'll just drag and drop it in. Okay, great. All right, so you'll see here that um, it's just a um, bare screen and we have two buttons. I'll just zoom in a bit here. All right, that's better. And I just have two buttons, one for creating the um, the account and one for getting the mnemonic. And on the event sheet, you can see here that I have a button and an on click event, and it's calling a create account met, um, function. And then I have the mnemonic button with an on click event with the uh, private key mnemonic um, function that will be called. Okay. And then inside of the main JS, we have uh, three variables, one for the algo client, one for the account, and one for the mnemonic. The run on startup and on before project start, these are two um, uh, functions or class methods, if you want to call them that, um, that are um, there with the project as soon as you create a script file. So as soon as you right click and create a script um, these will be automatically generated for you. And it'll give you uh, script.js. I just renamed mine to main. And um, the load external uh, script um, for WebAssembly, this was added, and the learn external script function was added. So if you're going to be using Construct3 and you are going to be adding in uh, third party JavaScript libraries um, from source, this would be. Um, the pattern that I, I would recommend. Um, so coming in here, we, we had called the load scripts, as you saw in the last video, we call the algorithm SDK. And then we have our, these are um, all for, for pure stake if you're connecting to it. But for our video, we're going to be using um, the sandbox. So you can see here that we have all the information for our sandbox. And then I just have some, I have an init method that um, creates the um, algo client and then I do a couple of function calls just for uh, sanity checks. Uh, down here, this is where we got the information from uh, Russ's tutorial for creating the, um, the account and the um, mnemonic. And then we have a tick function. And for your game stuff, if when you're transferring um, assets, this is where you're gonna be wanting to, to check when these things are happening inside your game. So it's your, your game loop, so to speak. Okay. So with that, um, that's, yeah, it's pretty much it. Just a little bit of extra stuff there. The, the one thing that we're going to need is that we're going to have to have our, our sandbox running. So inside of our sandbox, um, should be sandbox and up testnet. Okay, seems to be working. Okay, so now that we have the sandbox up and running, we can just run the project. Okay, great. So we see the status of our uh, sandbox node, and then we have the params. So our connection to the sandbox is working, so that's great. And now we can create the account. So it gives us an account here. I'm just going to copy this. And 
it also has the mnemonic that we can generate also. Okay, so that basically gets you started. Um, so let's go to our the Algo Explorer and make sure that you're on testnet. So I'm just going to paste in the account that it actually uh, created for us. And then we will be able to see this in Algo Explorer. There we go. Okay, so we see that this is the address that was created inside of our PureState account and we currently don't have anything. So let's go to the dispenser and we'll click on I'm not a robot. Okay, and now we will paste in the same address that was that was uh, the account address that was created in um, Construct. And there we go. Okay, this is successful. So now we can go back to our account and we'll just reload this. Oh, there we go. So you can already see that the balance was updated as we were doing that. And yeah, and now we have a totally funded account with a mnemonic. So this is a great um, project to basically get you started on your way to creating uh, blockchain games inside of Construct3 using the Algorand SDK. And uh, yeah, we'll be continuing on and making more videos using Construct3 and the Algorand SDK. And uh, see you soon.